to the East Kent coast this winter, you may have noticed there's a lot of birds feeding along the shoreline. They're not here all year, they're only here in the winter, so let's have a look at where they spend their summer and how far they've come um, to migrate to our coast each year. So if we look first at Canada, you can see that we've got some turnstone and ringed plover that have made that 3,000 mile journey over here to the Thanet coast. And if we look a little bit further north, we've got Greenland, and from there we've got turnstone, ringed plover and red shank. It's important to notice that these turnstone from Greenland and the ones from Canada, they are here all winter. So they come here every winter and they go to exactly the same beach every year and they spend their whole time feeding on that beach. So it's really important that we don't disturb them while they're here feeding. If we look at Iceland, we've got some sandling, golden plover, dunlin and oyster catchers that migrate here each winter. If we look over to the Faroe Islands, we've got some golden plover and red shank that migrate down as well in the winter. If we look over towards Scandinavia, Denmark, Norway, Sweden and Finland, then we, you'll see that we've got some turnstone, which are short stopping. So they're not spending the whole winter here. They're just coming down, feeding up for a few weeks, and then they're carrying on their journey all the way down to Africa, to the west coast of Africa. We've also got some golden plover, dunlin, sandling, curlew, oyster catcher, lapwing, purple sandpiper, which also come from Svalbard as well, which is an island up near Russia. And then speaking of Russia, we've got our Brent geese and our curlew and our lapwings that are flying over every winter to feed on our coast. So with these time steps of sandpiper flying over, the chevrons of Brent geese, the curfew of curlews, the fling of dunlins, the ponderance of the plovers, the deceits of lapwing, the stew of oyster catchers, the grain of sandlings and the contradiction of turnstones visiting, it's really, really important that when they're here feeding, that they're able to have room to roost, rest and recuperate before making those long journeys back up to their um, summer breeding grounds, particularly the 3,000 mile journey over to Canada and the 3,000 mile journey over towards Russia as well. So they really are coming from all across the Arctic tundra to enjoy our coast, so let's share it with them.